Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Today is Let's Talk Tickers on Taco Tuesdays and I'm here with Cassidy. How are you today? Great. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. I'm feeling a little paranoid like somebody's out to get me. Do you think they are? No, but I think you expect them to be. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because this morning whenever we got in a little spat, you thought I was being defensive and attacking you. And I wasn't. It's true. I may have even heard something that didn't actually get said. A few times. Yeah. (sighs) How self-defeating is that paranoia? I don't even really remember what we started fighting about yeah. and it's going to get further and further from memory 20 things, each day 21 things. it was one thing and two things and we made it 10 things and then 20 things <sighs> it feels so much better to not do that why do you think we have to find that do you think that there's something we long for is like a problem solving issue in our in our spirit some way like way back that we feel we needed to correct something a lot of theories we long for problems so we can feel that we were fixing stuff maybe yeah. maybe it's lack of passion towards real problems so we're creating problems yeah. maybe. Well, I think we got a hell of a problem right now and we really don't need to pretend or imagine them our hospitals are opening up more and more COVID units without nurses to staff them. That's true. And this is terrifying because, I mean, have you, how, what's, I've had three patients ICU assignments before, and there was another nurse who's had four, and it was kind of a it's, a, it's a huge deal. I don't know how sick they were, but it became kind of a benchmark where he, this team lead knew this guy could do four nurses or four patients <sighs> what what do you think what do you think the most patients a nurse should should have i see you too for sure yeah no more do you think there aren't studies there aren't there are there are studies yeah in california there are laws how do we fix it how do we we decided we're going to join the join NNU. the nnu <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do we just keep talking to people? Do I think we, so. How would how would you run a hospital? Who would you give the most control to? Well, the nurses and the patients too. Yeah. What about the doctors, the residents. Oh, it's really tough. It's tough because they're kind of learning how to how to really practice medicine. Yeah. A lot smarter. But why, why would you give it to the nurses? Why would they run the hospital rather than administrators? Because <sighs> administrators only care about money. Mm. They do. We make policies that aren't best practice because we care more about the numbers and the rates of things that count against hospitals instead of providing the best patient care and taking the the risks sometimes yeah you speak to speak to more on that about the um central lines being de-escalated right so a particular facility has this major goal of decreasing central line bloodstream infections or a cloud c um and it's been an initiative from what i understand the last five or so years and they've made a lot of progress Uh, They've implemented a lot of policies that protect the nurses, protect the patients, Um, but then it almost seems like we're going too far as if to prevent our collapse rate, we just are not placing central lines so that you can't call any infection a bloodstream infection caused by the central line. We're just not giving central lines. We're giving patients less invasive, less sturdy, Lines such as just regular peripheral IVs or a midline, which is still a peripheral access device at the tip of the catheter ends at about your shoulder. And we're giving them medications that are too caustic to those peripheral vessels, and they need to be in a central, in the subclave, uh, 
Super Vena Cava, where there's like, I don't know the exact number, but it's like 1,000 mLs a second of dilution oh, to yeah. these, yeah. I mean, it's straight like acid yeah. antibiotics that we're putting in people. It's killing their vasculature. They're the vessels that we would place lines in their arms. Vancomycin is what? I think it's like remember. a pH of two. Me. Two? It's really ridiculous. Oh, it's um, we're just, acid. We're, the, this facility is not following best practice or um, INS, Infusion Nurses Society, standards um, for the sake of decreasing the number of central lines that we even place. When really the infection prevention should be geared towards care and maintenance of the central lines that we do need. So sometimes the paranoia that you're not being empowered to the point of patient damage isn't unfounded. Yeah. We, we gotta fix that. We gotta push or harder. We gotta speak up. The paranoia of those making these decisions about these central lines that they just don't even want them. It's unfortunate. Well, with that, we'll wrap it with the Let's Talk Ticker Taco Tuesday full-on placement of a central line in the superior vena cava. Yep. Get it in that big old hoe. Thank you guys for listening. Bye. <laughs>